I am Lamont at large. Today I am at the Hillendale Memorial Garden Cemetery here in Lithonia, Georgia. I'm here to visit the grave of Lisa Lopez. If you are a child of the 90s like me and you listen to a lot of R&B and hip hop, then you most definitely know and remember the group TLC. They were absolutely huge in the 90s. They sold over 90 million copies of all their albums worldwide. So Lisa Lopez, her nickname in the group was Left Eye. She was kind of like the rapper of the group. And not a lot of people know this, but she was also uh, kind of like the brainchild in terms of their fashion, their look. Uh, she wrote a lot of the music on their songs. She has more of the writing credit for their music. She got the name Left Eye because uh, Michael Bivens, who was a member of the group New Edition, who a fabulous group in their own right, uh, called her Left Eye because uh, he said that her left eye made her attractive because it was slightly more slanted than her right eye. So that's how she got the name. And unfortunately, when you're in a big group such as that, maybe you're not making as much money as you think you should. You're not getting the credit like you should. You're, so forth and so on. You're going to have a falling out. And just like the three members of the group, you know, like sisters, you're going to fight. And they had a falling out. And that's when uh, Left Eye started doing her own thing. Uh, started, uh, she rapped on a couple uh, other songs from people. I think she rapped on an NSYNC song a long time ago. And uh, she also uh, was a producer uh, along with being a choreographer and what have you. She actually was the executive producer for a group based out of Atlanta, I believe, called Black. Um, they had a couple hits uh, you probably would remember from the late 90s, early 2000s. And a very, very talented uh, individual, to say the least. Um, when she left TLC, of course, it was just never the same. Uh, and that could easily be said... If the other two members left, uh, you know, once you have a trio and they're solidified in the, you know, in the mind of the public at large, when one group member leaves, it kind of, it's never really the same. And, you know, TLC was never the same after she left. And uh, on April 25th of 2002, uh, Left Eye was in Honduras, she went to some kind of a uh, spiritual retreat, something along those lines. And uh, she was with her sister and a couple other friends. Uh, they were in a rented SUV. They were driving down a one lane road. And uh, witness reports, uh, either she went to the other lane to pass a truck that was driving too slow or maybe he was stopped that gets convoluted like a lot of things in life and uh she swerved into the other lane but then there was an oncoming car so she swerved to the right again and unfortunately uh ran off the road uh in a horrible rollover crash and during that crash the v some cameraman working i believe with vh1 was filming her maybe some kind of a documentary something along those lines and uh, so he was filming the actual you know the last moments of her life and uh in the video tragically she wasn't wearing a seat belt and she was thrown from the vehicle uh, she died instantly uh it was just it that was it uh this is her grave uh, Lisa Nicole Lopez, Left Eye. It's inscribed, uh, the uh, rap version, uh, the rap part of the Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls is engraved up top right there. And at the bottom right here, it says, 
Lisa, our darling daughter and sister, we will greatly miss your smiling face. We will also miss the hug and kiss that came with every visit and the I love you with every goodbye. But the memory of all of your attributes will be embedded in our hearts and minds forever until we meet again. You asked our Lord to remove your shackles so you could praise him and he did that for you. Forever rejoicing in his presence, love and kisses always, Mommy, Ronald, and Raina. You know, when I see graves like this, you know, no matter if you're famous or you're not famous, uh, it's truly always a tragedy when the death possibly could have been avoided. I do a lot of driving. I go all over the country and I see all the time when I'm on one lane roads, people dangerously passing other people up, passing me up because they want to fly at 80 miles an hour. And um, it's just not worth it. I don't believe anybody in the history of the world has ever been so important that they need to drive, you know, somewhat dangerously, especially not wearing your seatbelt. I'm not, again, not chastising her. I'm just saying I want people, when they see this video, I want people to see what happens in tragic accidents such as this because, you know, a lot of, a lot of friends... A lot of family members and a lot of fans lost a truly talented individual without a shadow of a doubt in left eye. I mean, you know, I was a big fan of TLC. She was very, very pretty, very talented. And to needlessly die in an accident that should have never happened. So, you know, anybody out there who always says, you know, who thinks that like I'm I'm being wrong when I say, like, wear your seatbelts. Well, guys, this is what happens when you don't. Always wear your seatbelt. Please drive safe. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. More so than you know. More so than I would ever let anybody um, know. And it's, uh, after as the recording of this video has just been about a, two weeks past 18 years and... It just, it doesn't seem like it's 18 years, right guys? It, it, it only seems because their music often, you know, is played on the radio and it, it never truly feels right that she's no longer here. So rest in peace to uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. And... Uh, I'm out, guys. I'll catch up with you on the next uh, next vlog, all right? Always wear your seatbelts. And uh, drive safe.